Welcome to Inside PTI, weekly videos designed to get you the trial information you want, agronomy explanations you need, and insights that will help you on your farm. Today we're at the PTI farm and we're irrigating some of our crops here at the research farm. And one of the things that we're doing is, is we're using Netafim drip tape, but our water source is a reservoir. This is, one, this is one of two reservoirs we're using on the farm. And this is not the one we have at our main facility that we, uh, that we dug just a couple years ago. This is an additional reservoir we're pulling water from. And one of the issues we've got is water quality. We've got a problem with algae and what I call seaweed under, you know, growing from the bottom. We're getting too much sunlight in and we're getting some growth in the water. And we're trying to pump water out into our drip and our drip tape's got small emitters and so it's very important we keep the water clean and we're just having a heck of a time with our current filtration system so we've had to come in and add filters to clean this water to make sure that we can manage our corn crop out here in the field soybeans as well putting on the right amount of water as well as nutrients to go in that water in our fertigation so to address the water quality issues we've got from our reservoir here at Walmart, we've had to bring in some special filters. And, and this is how we're cleaning the water, making sure it stays clean for our drip irrigation here at the farm. So as water comes in, we've got a series of three filters. And we've get, this is a Netafim system. We're working with the guys at Nutri-Drip. They've done a fantastic job of, of helping us with this system, installing this and making sure we've got clean water going through our drip irrigation. But we use this with back pressure, so we know as pressure starts to go down, we need to, we're, the filters are getting full of debris from the pond. And so then it will backwash, clean itself out, and then remove the dirty water out of the system. But this has been really handy. It's done a good job of cleaning the water for us, but we've had a heck of a problem, as I mentioned earlier, with water quality in the, in the pond, in the reservoir. It's just been super uh, dirty. And so I really don't want to treat the pond because it's not, our, our actual farm pond here at PTI, and so we don't want to damage anything. So we're just trying to deal with some of the water issues that we've got. But we clean the water here, the water then goes through our meter so we can actually re read and report the gallons of water coming from the pond so we know how many gallons of water we're irrigating with. And then uh, we've also got a check valve on this system too. We are fertigating, this is our fertigation device we're using the water horsepower if you will as it's coming through to drip fertilizer in with our water we're, we're, we're out here we're tissue testing about every 10 days or so and then if we have any holes in the arm or chinks in the armor if you will we're, we're replacing some of those holes with the fertility program to balance everything out but this has been a real challenge this year keeping the water clean enough to get through our drip irrigation so today's inside pti agronomy tip of the day is you know it, it precision planting at the PTI farm, we, we're gonna, we know we're gonna run into problems in the field every single year and it's all about finding a solution to take care of the problem. And that's what we're doing here in the field. We know we've got a water quality issue and we're coming in, we're cleaning this water so we can make sure that we can feed this crop. As growers, we always wanna know, you know what, what is the best thing we can do out here in the field to grow the most bushels we can. We're out here tissue testing and we know what we need to put on fertility wise, but I need the water as a carrier, I need the fertilizer to feed the crop, but I had to get this filtration system done in order to manage this crop correctly. So if you've got any questions about anything we talked about today, feel free to reach out to any Precision Planning Premier dealer or go to our website at precisionplanning.com. That's all the time we have for today. We'll catch you on the next episode of Inside PTI. Thanks for watching.